Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art on this Tuesday night choo-choo. I appreciate everyone that joins us on these Tuesday nights. Um, we have some wonderful artists, starting with Holly, then myself, then Camille, Amoy Art, and Nate Bright Art. Holly from The Morning Poor is the person that started this amazing train, and I thank you. We so appreciate everyone that watches, comments, and sub please subscribe to our channels. And if you missed their videos, please go back and check them out. I know they're amazing. So I had started my camera here on this flower pop that I'm doing, and um, I'd covered my... Um, Edges in Rose Matter, Red by Soho. I made up a batch and decided to do another reverse swipe. So I have um, two and a half parts Floetrol to one part Soho Rose Matter. And I am just going in and doing full coverage on the canvas, making sure all of my edges are nice and covered um, because at this point, um, with the reverse swipe, there's not as much paint that is going over the edges to really cover them up. So we are going to start the flowers here shortly. Please remember to check out the uh, Christmas in July. That's next Saturday, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. It's Saturday to Monday. Um, Donna... From Hollywood she is the person that is um, really in charge of this wonderful um, collaboration that we're going to be doing with 25 artists please make sure you check out all the thumbnails and upcoming times for that great collaboration okay first color is going to be modern masters rose gold Okay, then we're going to go with Arteza Armantha Red plus Amsterdam Reflex Orange. I absolutely love these colors together. They're beautiful. Okay, and then we've got Porridge Posse Antique Copper Metallic. And we've got Porridge Posse Bubblegum. Shimmer. Okay. I'm just putting all these colors on here. That looked like a worm. Okay, we are now ready to complete the reverse swipe. And that is where we do one color on the canvas and we swipe with several other colors. I'm using the dollar store paper towels for this technique. I think when you use a heavier paper towel, it pulls all the paint off. Um, I do think that in the future, when I use this technique, the reverse swipe, I will put a second line of color, either two thirds or halfway down the canvas. I do. I, that's the only thing I wish that I had done differently, is maybe um, you know incorporated a little bit more of the lighter color on the bottom. So lesson learned. So now um, that. Um, you see the shimmer in those paints. What I love about the reverse swipe, it creates a film over the top of your canvas that once you finish it, it is stunning. I was amazed at several of the paintings I recently finished and, and how much brighter they are, uh, even though they have that, that kind of film from the reverse swipe. So now we're going to start the flowers, and um, I am actually speeding it up. And I've decided to do a cluster of flowers, which is a little bit different. I've been practicing. I have some practice canvases um, 
that I've been working on trying to do hydrangeas and different style flowers. Um, right now, I really um, did a lot of research. I, I love the smell of plumeria, and that's why I decided to name it plumeria. Um, there is a plumeria flower that actually is the color of this flower, um, but uh, I, I did pull out um, some of the rose gold by Modern Masters. I did use that as a second color. Um, I'm so glad that I did. It really needed that that added touch. So I am going to um, finish up, put some music on, and you can watch as I create the flowers. Again, thank you to everybody that continues to support me and support all of my friends on this Tuesday night train. I just adore them. They're they're they've been such an inspiration to me. And in all honesty, each week working with such talented people, it just pushes me to try to be better and better every week. So thank you to my friends on this train and thank you to everybody that continues to um, support me. So let's sit back and, and finish up this flower pop. I will see you there. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool Love that one. I think these singles turned out really well. I'm gonna go up and show you. What I like about this technique is it's not, you know, it's very abstract. Hi everybody. Okay, so now that it has dried, you can see that some of the stems are very faint. So I am adding them with this cool little um, applicator bottle. And I'm just going to add very carefully, if you can see, 
I will do most of it off camera, but just to give you an idea, and I'm just running this down and adding just a little bit to make it look um, more. There we go. And then I'm just gonna take and move some of this black paint so that it ties into the flower. And all this is is regular oxide black and a little bit of Floetrol. And I'm just you know, evening it out a little bit. This one looks good. Okay, let's do this one. And again, it's hard with 15 minutes, but I don't, you know, I think you get the idea of what I'm doing here. Um, so I'm gonna move this down so you can see me do this flower here. Here we go. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool these dried results. It is absolutely stunning. I love the name. I love the final piece. I love it on the wall. It looks so much better on the wall than it really did when I was painting it. I was on the fence at first, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for being here with me. Let's go see Camille. She is up next. See you there. I get up, I always do. I never think